Hello boys and girls, today we're going to read the book The Rainbow Fish by Marcus P. Fister. I want you to pay close attention to our rainbow fish on our front cover and think what do you think this book may be about and I want you to pay close attention to his scales. What do you think so special about him, his scales? Let's read the book and find out. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish. What do you think the vocabulary word ordinary means? You're right, ordinary means normal, but our book mentions that he's not an ordinary fish, so he's not a normal fish. Let's find out. But the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean his scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. So do you see his purple and blue and green scales? And also his sparkling silver scales and see how they shimmer when I move the book. The other fish were amazed by his beauty. What do you think the vocabulary word amazed means? Yeah, amazed means like, wow, like I'm shocked, like that is crazy. They called him rainbow fish. Come on, rainbow fish. They would call, come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. You see in our picture, rainbow fish is just swimming past all these other fish, not wanting to play. Why do you think he doesn't want to play? Let's read and find out. One day, a little blue fish followed after him, rainbow fish. He called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. Do you think Rainbow Fish might give the little blue fish one of his scales? Let's see what happens. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the Rainbow Fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. So no, the rainbow fish did not give the little blue fish one of his scales. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. What do you think the word wise means? You're right. Wise means smart. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in the glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. See our octopus hiding in the deep cave. Have you ever seen an octopus before? Maybe at the aquarium? Or have you ever been to the beach before and seen an octopus? For you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each one of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how happy to be.
So do you think that the rainbow fish may go back to his friends and give them one of his shining scales? Let's read and find out. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Have you ever had a toy that you just didn't want to give away or you didn't want to let your sister or brother play with? That was your most favorite toy. That's how the rainbow fish feels. He doesn't want to give away his pretty scales because that's what makes him happy. Suddenly, he felt a light touch up on a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I would miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you. Thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather particular feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. Do you think the blue little blue fish likes his shiny scale? I think so too. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right and the more he gave away the more delighted he became. What do you think the word delighted means? Yeah, delighted means happy. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. So he shared all his shiny scales with his friends. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and as happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. So, at the beginning of the book, we noticed that Rainbow Fish didn't want to play with his friends. But now that he has given his friends some of his shiny scales, they're all playing together. The end.